Here's a YouTuber. Take five. That's right. That's how it is, eh? <laughs> hey guys, my name's Jeremy. I'm from Alberta, Canada. I'm a homestead homie. I also have a YouTube channel called Simple Little Life, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. So am I. What's up, homestead homies? All right, we're going on a video collab today. Um, I guess just stay tuned. Here we go. Whoa! How did that happen? All right, guys, do you know where I'm at? We are um, with Simple Little Life. This is Jeremy. He is a homesteader slash knife builder. He actually started his uh, gig on YouTube homesteading, right? Yep, that's true. Right, and then he started making knives, and uh, he does a really good job with making knives. Uh, you guys go check out his channel. I'm going to leave the links down below. So today I'm here. We're going to talk homesteading, and we're also going to build a knife. I've never built a knife before, and one of Jeremy's passions is that he wants to be able to teach people um, how to build knives. So he's thinking about maybe a knife school or something like that. So this was a good opportunity for him to work with a guy like me <laughs> who's never built a knife before and uh, walk me through the process. And uh, so we're hanging out. He's in Canada. And uh, anything you want to say real quick before we get started? Uh, yeah, if the knife doesn't turn out... It's my fault. It's <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's get this build on the way. Sounds good. Boom. He actually drawn out a template here that'll fit my hand, right? Yeah. Okay. So the next process after we draw it is to cut it out. what we cut cut out to unless you're totally sure like if you're building a knife that resembles something that you already had yeah but for the custom-made knife uh, you know like what we're trying to do here I can totally see why this is beneficial yeah it doesn't have to be totally exact either right yeah no we because we'll cut it and when we cut it we'll cut it big and then we'll grind to it right so all the fine shape comes when we're on the grinder doing the profile. And if you guys want to see about grinding, I'll leave a video right here. And he out of uh, Jeremy's channel, and he talks about grinding. That's why we're going to be grinding like a boss. We're going to attack it and not be afraid of it. That's right. All right, cool. We got that cut out. Okay, see how it fits in your hand. Just see, so you kind of lay it up to your hand there and see. Oh, is that better? It still need to be bigger. I think that might. Uh... That looks pretty good there. That's pretty good. That's like a custom fit. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. All right, so Doug, now the next thing we're going to do, now that you've cut out your template, we'll actually flip it over uh, that way, and we're just going to take some of that adhesive, shake it up, do it, uh, just come over there because I don't want to spray the table. Actually, do it this way. Or do you leave it on the paper? I'll just hold the paper, and you just give it a little shot like hairspray. For oh, boy, remember the Aquanet days? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the same stuff you use in your beard now. No. That's perfect, yep. And then we're just going to let that get a little bit tacky. And then uh, just so you know, the, the steel we're going to use, this is 01 tool steel, so it's a carbon steel. Uh, it will get a patina over time. If you leave it out in the rain, it will rust. But the beauty about these carbon steels is that they have really good like material characteristics. Like it'll hold an edge really well, easy to heat treat. Um, these are like where you should start. I think 01 tool steel is one of the best steels you could start at knife making. So we got that. So that's American steel? American steel. It's okay. precision ground stock. And you would treat that with uh, maybe rub some oil on it over your yep. lifetime, you know, yep. just kind of keeping it smooth yep. and rust free. Yeah. And as you use it, the blade will darken up. Like oh, it right. will. Like, it, you know, if you we process some chickens with a knife that was brand new and it was noticeably darker afterwards. But again, just process. And the darker it gets, the less it'll, it, the more protected it gets. Got it's it. like a forced patina. Kind of, right. You know, with leather, is it kind of wears, it kind of gets harder yeah. and almost a little bit more protected. Same thing with these steels, mm -hmm. with carbon steels. So. Good. Now we'll slap that on there. And then it's 3 16 inch thick, inch and a half wide. And then I'll get you just to pick this up and I'll kind of place it on there. You got to kind of get it right the first time because that uh, that adhesive is not overly forgiving. Get this out of the way. So do I want to have the uh, point of the knife at the... Yep, try to keep leave it. Leave a little space or go right to the end? Uh, leave a little space. Okay. It's one of these things you don't want to cut yourself short, but you, you know, still... And then you just cheap. try to center it as best yep. you can? That looks perfect. You just layer down there. Oh, like a champ. Have you done this before? No, it's all in the teacher. Okay, well, that, that's what I was going to say. That's perfect. All right. Cool beans. And now what we're going to do with this is uh, I'll get you set up on the portable bandsaw. I'm going to put a new blade in because that one's pretty old. Right. It's easier with a good blade. And you're going to cut this out. You're going to cut it a little bit wide because you're going to finish the real fine profiling on the belt grinder. Very so good. Let's make go. Sure. 
All right, so we got the uh, knife cut out. See, did that all by my lonesome. And now we're gonna take it over to the belt grinder and uh, I'm gonna give my, uh, give my hand a try at that. So here we go. That's true. We're gonna start this grind. I guess I need glass. All right, so basically I got the A-OK -okay on this uh, part here. We've, I switched the belt to a finer grit uh, ceramic belt, and now I'm going to uh, clean up the back edge here and uh, just kind of get this all a little more smoothed out because he says once we heat treat this, uh, we don't want to mess around with this anymore, so we're going to get this in shape right now. All right guys, that concludes part one of the knife build. Remember it was a two day build, so I'm trying to condense this footage down into about 20 something minutes for you guys, uh, cause I don't want to bore you to death. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Um, you guys, make sure you go check out Jeremy's channel. Jeremy, thank you, a huge thank you for uh, inviting me into your home and taking good care of me um, and teaching me this valuable homestead skill. You guys are always asking us how we can make money on the homestead and spend more time with our family. And this is just another great way that you can do it. You can build knives from home 
and um, you know it's a great skill to have. Also we've brought in you guys how to sharpen knives. You can make money sharpening knives. You can sell your livestock. You guys can go out and cut some lawns. I mean there's lots of different ways you can work for yourself, spend more time at home with your family and in the end that's what it's all about. Um, also check out Jeremy's channel. All the links are down below and uh, go let him know that we sent you and um, watch some of his knife build videos. He does a really good job of putting them together. He really enjoys trying to teach you guys how to do this kind of stuff. And uh, you know, it might be a good channel for you to subscribe to so you can gain some other ideas and knowledge about how to do this, okay? Part two of this video is gonna come out on Monday. And Sunday night we'll be having a live show right here at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, we'll hang out with you guys for a little bit, try to get you caught up on some stuff. Obviously the computer is back at the homestead. Um, that's why we have this video out today and we appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, the next part of the video, um, building the knife, is gonna be, we're gonna be making the handle and cutting it out of the wood. The wood was a um, clean Queensland maple. It was really nice looking wood and we'll have the big reveal on how it stained out and how everything came together for the end product. Again, this is Doug with Off Good with Doug and Stacy. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, we're gonna be at, um, Vermont next weekend uh, for the Mother Earth News Fair and I think we have a couple of uh, passes to give away so stay tuned in the next couple of videos and uh, you might have a chance if you want to come see us to win a free pass to get into the Mother Earth News Fair for the whole weekend so we have two of those available I believe so that's it I'll see you guys on the next video hey guys thanks for watching our video you might want to check out these videos and if you want to become a homestead homie click the picture of us below we, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.